Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you guys today with a fun video and I haven't, I didn't do this last year, but I used to do it, it a lot. It is my Valentine's Day gift guide. It is more for the woman in your life. So sorry guys, I haven't done a man or a men gift guide for Valentine's Day in a long time. I definitely wanted to share with you guys what you could get your honey your loved one for Valentine's Day and I have a list of things that we're gonna go through I have some products to show you um, so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I wanted to talk about basically was something that's handmade a card a letter um, a, a plain letter something that you cut out one thing my husband and I used to do a lot was we would write each other letters or poems back and forth and um, you know we have kids now and it's not that we don't like to do stuff like that because we still try to find the time but we are busy people and so therefore you know we just don't have the time and I'm sorry I keep fussing with my hair because it's driving me nuts okay um but a lot of handmade things and I bring to you guys a story I'm trying to think of the year. I believe it was 2002, maybe 2003. Um, my husband and I were both working, and I spent probably about a month doing something handmade for him. And I took some paper in the color that I loved. So what it was was a lavender paper that had, like, marble print on it. And I took it basically, and I made handmade paper roses. And I did two dozen of those for my husband. We had just gotten married in 2001, and so I believe it was 2003 that I did this, um, that I'm thinking about where we were working then. And I handmade them. It took me about a month. I took the wire and everything, and then I ended up twisting it together, and I bought some rose stems and leaves, and it was beautiful. I put it together in a bouquet, and I took it to his workplace. Now, that may seem a little kind of funky but he loved it and I used to have roses delivered to his workplace all the time as well so you know it's the little handmade things or the little gestures that you do that really make and mean a lot um, that's my first thing but before I move on to the rest I wanted to kind of throw something in there really quick for all of you if you're in a relationship to me Valentine's Day is every single day you're in that relationship so it shouldn't be all these special things shouldn't be held off for that one day a year you know you should be treated and you should treat that person that you love like Valentine's Day is every single day of the rest of your life because it is you know you're with that special someone you're with that special someone who loves you and cares for you and it just definitely should be that way so make sure that you make your Valentine's Day special and awesome but make sure that every single day that you're with this person that you love is special and awesome and Valentine's so, Day. So number two if you guys have been following my channel here or my last channel you know that I love to cook I'm a huge foodie my husband and I both love to cook and follow me on Instagram you see food posts all the time and a lot of times Valentine's Day lands in that time frame where it may not be near your paycheck time you may not have money and utilize the things that you have cook a special meal for that someone um, I remember you know my husband and I were newly together we were still boyfriend and girlfriend we didn't have that much money but we utilized what we had we made it special put candles out on the table quiet it down have a nice soft quiet dinner a little bit of music and then turn the music on after you're done with dinner and just dance the night away in your living room you know things like that are affordable if you can't afford to go out or in our case now where we have kids we include our children in the things we do so for example this coming Valentine's Day my husband will be working 
and so it'll be just me and the kids and we will come up with something that we love to eat together and we'll spend our Valentine's Day together and then maybe bake cookies or do a dessert together or you know my sons and I love to dance so we dance around in the house and just have lots of fun and giggle and smile so those are things that you can do as well number three sweet smelling things I don't know how many times I can stress to anybody I love perfume I love scented body sprays and you know there are so many gift sets nowadays out there that you can pick up one that I recently got was from coach and I will put the link down below where you could get this mine was purchased on hot look and I believe they just had it recently featured on hot look so you'll probably have to get it at Sephora you can check Ross or Kohl's you might find it there as well as TJ Maxx but you know something sweet like this is not telling the person that you don't like the way they smell but buy them their favorite perfume and for me it would be coach love so in here it came with the lotion as well as the perfume and that is something you definitely can give your loved one they'll enjoy it it's something that they can use as well the next is makeup I am a huge makeup person so when it comes to times like this where my husband wants to treat me or do something additional to what he already got because he usually will buy me flowers and jewelry um, he'll also pick up some makeup and there are a few things out there that were just recently released from Too Faced that I think would be awesome for Valentine's Day the first one is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette I actually just did a review on this so you will see it soon I have to still edit and upload but this palette is about $49. You can get it at Ulta, Too Faced.com, or Too Faced Cosmetics.com, I believe, and Sephora.com. And this is, it looks just like a chocolate bar, shaped the same way. It smells like chocolate. For that makeup lover, this would be a great palette for you to get for them. Another would be the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush. The container itself of this is super cute. Um, it is their Sweethearts Blush. This is in the color the Perfect Berry. Or, I'm sorry. The Perfect Berry Blush. And the packaging is gorgeous because it's pink, but it also has... It comes in a heart. It looks like a little chocolate box. And then on the inside are the blushes. Or the entire blush. And I just think it is the perfect gift for you to give or maybe it's called something about berry that's what it's called I'm sorry um, this is a great gift it's $30 or 29 I believe on Too Faced website you can get it again Ulta um, Sephora and Too Faced .com or Too Faced Cosmetics .com. and um, it's super cute the packaging is awesome and any makeup lover would absolutely love that the next, I uh, talked about this earlier in the beginning, flowers. Flowers are a great addition for you to buy. You can buy their favorite flower. Roses are universal for Valentine's Day. Um, but you can definitely get like their favorite flower or something special. And my favorite site for flowers is Buccaneers. I'll go ahead and leave their link down below. Um, their prices are phenomenal. You could easily pre-order or get it ordered for delivery you can get all kinds of discounts when you sign up at their website and it is free to sign up just to have an account with them but it is well worth it because you can get like two dozen roses for sometimes fifty dollars so it's worth checking out it's worth signing up because you may have that discount and it's definitely something to take a look at the next for me is body washes lotions all those kinds of sweet smelly things that make you say mmm woman get in the shower you know um let's take a tub bath and for me I'm going to go with the Be Delectable from Cake Beauty this is their vanilla and cream body wash and this is their strawberry and cream triple moisture body lotion these two are awesome they're now available at Kohl's if you have a Kohl's near you I'm not too sure if they're available at Kohl's.com um, I'll double check and I'll leave a link down below for a write-up that I did on Beauty Stat for these if you want to check them out 
Um, but they smell yummy and delicious and nothing says like, I'm, I love sweet smelling things and when you give someone something that smells good, like vanilla and stuff like that, it's just saying, mm, I want you, I, devour, I want to devour you and yummy. That's what I think. So I think these are awesome sauce. Okay, next I'm going to talk about is jewelry. This piece here I got on shop lately. Super simple, very affordable. I have a few other pieces as well. Like this one here. Oh, and I just knocked it out. Okay. Hello. But, you know, this piece is no longer available, unfortunately, I believe, on shop lately. I might have bought the last one. But, you know, something simple like this. Super duper affordable. And then from Glint and Gleam. I believe this is from Daisy Gem. From Glint and Gleam. Something pretty like this. It's sweet. It's affordable. It's an awesome gesture to give. Um, who doesn't like to get jewelry? And if you're on a budget, Shop Lately is definitely a great place to go for all of your accessories. I will leave that link down below for you to shop. Because if you haven't already, and you go ahead and sign up, um, using your Facebook account, you'll get a $5 credit for you to go shopping with. So that helps. And shipping for most of the storefronts on Shop Lately is super fast. But you can get awesome. I mean, look at this statement piece here. Gorgeous statement pieces on Shop Lately. And I think that that will just work out fabulous. Um, of course, you can get the diamonds and the gold and the silver from your favorite jeweler. Mine's is K's, Ben Bridge, you know, certain things like that. You can definitely check those out, Jared. <laughs> you can definitely check those out as well. But if you are someone who needs something that's a little bit more within your budget, Shop Lately is definitely the place to go. Um, now we're going to talk about printed items. And for me... I love making specialized, customized things. A few years ago, this is um, Valentine's Day 2009, I made this DVD for me and my husband, but it was his um, Valentine's Day present. And basically what it is, is it's a custom DVD with a slideshow that I created on One True Media. There are a lot of other sites that you can do this at. Um, you can also find sites, and I'll link some of them down below, where you can make custom pillowcases. For me, I think those are cute because a lot of times my husband has a job where he works graveyard. So I would totally put his face on a pillow and sleep on it and then not feel so bad. But, you know, it's cute things, pillowcases, t-shirts, canvas photos, large blow-up poster photos. I mean, and you know, the pillowcase thing is really good for long-distance relationships too. Um, like I said, it comes in handy for me because when my husband works graveyard, I'm always lonely and have a hard time to sleep. So, you know, definitely little customizable things like this I'll leave a link down below where you can check out some of the places um, that you could find those but that is definitely awesome as well and last but not least is sweet treats again we're back to the whole honey loves to cook and she's a foodie I can't help it I love it but my all-time favorite chocolate is from Godiva and Godiva makes some of the best chocolate dipped strawberries ever but I make some pretty good ones. They're easy to make. You can find all kinds of recipes all over YouTube. I'm going to do my best to try and get a recipe or a tutorial up for that in the next two weeks so that you guys could use that. But it's very simple. You can do it very simple with the microwave option with the chocolate and those little chocolate melts. Or you could do it... The other way, with a double boiler and dip your chocolate strawberries in it, lay them nicely on your wax paper, put it in the refrigerator to chill, and it's good to go. You can make it really pretty on a little plate um, with a doily underneath, or you can put them really nice with some tissue paper and stuff inside. So there are many options. Again, like I said, chocolates. Um, I love chocolates. You could just buy me a regular... Wait, I take that back. I'm not a huge chocolate person, but I do love specific chocolates. And my husband is really, really good at knowing that. So, 
he goes for specific chocolate. You can't just buy any old chocolate, bring it to me and be like, here, because I'm, I'm that type of person where I'm just not huge on chocolate unless it's something in particular. But, you know, another thing you can do is definitely check out some of the chocolate websites um, here in Hawaii. If you are living in the mainland, I get told so many times, we, I want chocolates from Hawaii. I want the macadamia nut chocolates. I want the other ones. So I'm going to put some links down below of chocolate, local chocolate establishments where you can order online. There's, um... Big Island Candies and Mauna Loa Chocolates where you have enough time right now to place your order and I think that that is just an awesome opportunity for you to go ahead and just give your loved one an awesome chocolate goodiness that came all the way from the 808 which is my state here so you know a little piece of Hawaii something special but you know I emphasize a lot on cards handmade things sometimes just telling somebody i love you makes a whole lot of difference and if you are a guy or woman this is pretty much for women but let me tell you something and i said this in the beginning of the video i gave my husband flowers every year until we had our kids and you know now we include our children in our valentine's day festivities we go out to dinner we include our kids together when we go and do things like that so our lifestyle has changed a little bit but you know that doesn't mean that the special things have to go away so remember what i said valentine's day shouldn't be one day a year it should be treated like it's every day and you should be treated special and with love every single day of your relationship because that's what love is all about and, um, you know, I really, really hope that you guys have an awesome Valentine's Day. And I hope some of these tips helped. I'm going to leave links down below as to where you can go as well as on my blog. So check all of those out. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have an awesome day, week, Valentine's Day, what have you. I also wanted to update you guys. I'm working my hardest to try and get my Valentine's Day lookbook up. Um, I'm hoping to include three to four outfits in one video, so stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an awesome one, guys, and happy Valentine's Day for me to you.